much it's better than what i'm going to show you guys here i took these down to show you guys the second method of rebuilding all these small strands of hair that were here you are giving them a break okay you want them to rest and all the tension happens on this row now <laughs> just look at shrinkage yeah they are the same length but hello ladies so today i am doing a rebraid video for you guys i am not sure if i am going to actually rebraid the whole of my front i am going to see as the week goes by but before i begin i just want to show you guys two ways that two ways that you can go about rebraiding your hair okay i don't know if i should show you guys my whole mini braids they are very itch right now i need to put methylated spirit on my scalp but it's nothing i can handle okay so back to rebraiding i am going to I am going to demonstrate on this one right here. This could be an inch of growth. Okay. So I am just going to rebraid this, only this one. I am not going to rebraid the back of my hair. You guys won't be here to help me. Okay. It's too much work. Just look at it. Okay. Let me show you. I am not going to rebraid the whole back of my hair. I hope you can see. Others, others have even grown together. That is how bad it is. But I'm only left with what? Five, maybe six weeks before I take down my hole, you know? So why would I rebraid now? I need to let so what i do is that i just use my hair band okay uh i take a small piece don't be heavy handed this time i just take a very tiny amount tiny 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 and if i was doing i i i, I mostly put it here on this ball because i haven't washed my hair i don't know man the only time i last washed my hair after i came back from the beach as in like i said to you guys in the update and that was what 26 27 28th of december i don't know so my hair as you can see even here it has the balls have started popping up Come on. Like, this is really the time that it really needs to be rebuilt. <laughs> but, I, if you have any compassion for me, then don't expect me to rebuild my hair. It's too much work. So, these are the balls. Okay? It's always so satisfying for me to see the new growth. Basically, what you do in this one, eh? this first method of rebraiding, you just take down the braid and then you just braid it back up. There is no, you are not, that's it. It's still difficult to do because there are no shortcuts when it comes to mini braids. But it's better than what I'm going to show you guys here. I took these down. To show you guys the second method of rebuilding, okay, whereby you know it involves parting, okay. Up in this one that I'm going to demonstrate here, you don't part anything. You just take down, and then you remove shed hairs, and then and then you bring it back up. That's it. You just make it need at the roots <sighs> take down guess Anna is very tedious <sighs> mm. 
Mogo, I have arrived. I have arrived at that ball. So I need to be careful. <gasps> but it's not that hard. It was going to be hard. Like I always say in my videos, it was going to be rock solid if I was using creams or water on my hair, but it's just oils on me. So there is no matting. I don't like applying hair bath before I braid my hair because it causes me it causes my grip not to be strong enough as in my hair slips because of so it's not tight enough because of the oil so i'm just going to put very 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 small 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 and then braid it back up and that's it for this method <laughs> no, that's a bit awkward because this one is at full length, people, and these ones are which so it will catch up, it will also shrink up as time goes on. And so, on to the second method. So you just section that. I'm just going to put these ones up here and work with these ones. So what I do basically in this second method, let me first explain it. What you want to focus on is that with this one, you just rebraid it. You just take it down and there is no button you don't do anything extra you just take it down remove shed hairs and then braid it back up and then apply hair bud apply a generous amount okay not this big it's only one thing but a generous amount of hair bud after after you have braided it if you apply a generous amount of hair bud before then it's going to cause your braid not to be tight enough okay i hope that you can hear me without having to explain much but that is it and so what you do on this second one is that we have one this was your this was your line and now you want to recycle that and take a few hairs from these from this row uh from this from these braids and put it here so that you can have a new line that is here so that you can give this hair all these small strands of hair that were here you are giving them a break okay you want them to rest and all the tension happens on this row now so you take this first one out and then you make a line something very small just to give these hairs a break and now these ones will be on fire now these ones must be in the front line that is all that you do it's it's a very small it doesn't even seem like uh, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, yes. So we are both, and as you can see, I have to take a small piece from this too. So, 
So they is my pretty take. I did take his from here. I must say it is way too big right now. And that is okay. And that is okay, my friend. And then you, you put just a small amount of hair, but nothing much, really. Then I start braiding. so that is it and so now I'm just going to follow the line so the line was here and now it has moved it is here it's not straight <laughs> and I hate my I hate myself for being such a perfectionist because I suck why must it be so straight? It's not straight, but it is what it is, okay? It's okay. Like, it's really nothing. It's even left halfway, and so on, till another nothing much. J so that it's not completely empty. So I have repeated this first row and this is the second but can you see how thin it is? What I'm going to do is take hair from this upper row like just like I did here. I just take hair from here so that I can put all these tiny hairs here to rest and then these ones are in the front line. But I'm very tired. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going, I'm just going to braid the way it is. I'm very tired. And then that is what you do even on this one. When you get here, you just take hair. And then that is what you do. That is what you do. That is what you do. Amen. So that is all you do in this second method of repeating. But I'm even out of breath right now. Like, so I'm not going to do it. I just wanted to show you guys that if you wanted to recycle parts, that is what you can do. <laughs> just look at shrinkage. Yeah. They are the same length, but... And so I am down to my last... This is so nice, the rebraided part. <laughs> Maybe I should rebraid the front of my head. <laughs> because uh, I like fresh braids. If 
I don't do this, then it won't be stuck to my scalp. I want it stuck to my scalp. Oh. All done. Now it's up to me to decide whether I'm going to continue. I think I should, man. This is very nice because maybe six weeks is a long time. Let me just do it. I'm telling you about shrinkage. Can you like? So that's it. Okay? Those are the toys that you can use to rebraid your hair, to refresh in your locks, to refresh in your braids. Yeah, bon? If they are starting to look, if they are starting to get new growth. Both of the ways are difficult because there is no shortcuts in the game of mini braids. They are both difficult. But the former is a bit more easier than the latter, okay? It is up to you to decide which one you follow. As for me, I... As for me, this is how I repeat my hair. I take... I take a braid and then I take it down and braid it back up so that I don't have to part and do extra work. Yeah, but mini braids are already very difficult to to manage you don't wanna put too much strain on yourself you don't wanna add things that are going to cause more frustration okay but i do think that it's very important to recycle but take for instance my son my son i keep his hair in mini braids okay and he goes to school so i do I do two braids on his mini braids to keep him presentable at school and not have his hair like this. And that is the only and that is the only style that I do on his braids. The sun has gone down and my phone is reminding me that I need to work out. But let me just say this, okay? So because I don't let his hair lose I put it in those two braids and that is the only style that he can do. There is nothing else. He cannot do anything else. Those are the braids that he does. Geka, period. Okay. So he tends to lose hair right here. Just like when someone has a middle part wig. Okay. And the wig sheds hair. And yeah, boy. It's just not a good look. What I do when I repraid my son's hair is that if I part his hair, if I did the parting here, then the next time I am going to do it in between the braid. Remember? His middle part is going to be in between the braid. The hair that was braided and confined and protected in a braid I pull that apart and, and put others this side and others this side and that becomes the middle part, okay? I think I do have a clip of this. I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys to see that, that you do lose hair if you keep the same parts for a very long time. So it's always good to recycle, like to to change up your paths, okay? Another thing is that I notice this on my own hair, okay? Because what I do now is that every time I every time I anoint my braids, okay? I I section like this and there is this there is this permanent part right here. I saw it on the on the hair update video that Nabon, there is this line for me here. So what I can do without having to recycle parts of the mini braids, what I can do is that when I am when I am doing the chunky braids, I can just recycle parts then, Nabon, and start braiding right here to close that line and have and have that line in between. 
able to give those heads a break. I hope what I am saying makes sense. So that is what I do now because Galogo, I don't when I am replaying, I don't wanna be partying and doing extra work. I just wanna so what I can do. So what I can do to recycle parts because it's very important to recycle parts. What I do is just is that when my braids are in, the chunky braids that I do or African threading or whatever I wanna do on my braids, I recycle parts on my mini braids. I really hope what I am saying makes sense. That's basically it. And I do like when my hair is just rebraided, I do want to get it drunk with hair bud because it has just been exposed to air okay so i just wanted to and i apply it right here at the roots too but only when i have fresh braids as in when i took my whole braids like in when i just installed a fresh set of braids and when i am rebraiding other times i just focus on the length of my hair and on the ends of my hair and I don't go near my scalp to limit this situation I know I don't know if you guys can see the balls but I can see them and anyone who is looking at me face to face can see them so I, I really I don't really like them so to limit that I don't go near my scalp I don't want the gunk to to show up early but it always shows up around eight weeks yeah man seven weeks yeah but it's unavoidable that is why i rebraid my hair at eight weeks okay so that is it okay, guys hello again guys so i rebraided the whole front of my hair <laughs> I decided why not and why have I lost hair here? Fine hair problems. Just wake up without edges. Because my hair is still fine this side. Maybe I was a bit rough while I was removing the braids. I don't know but <laughs> But yeah I did go on and rebraid the whole front of my braids and yesterday was anointing day so I anointed my so I anointed my braids with hair bath um, and I put you guys know I always put my hair in chunky braids after I anointed with hair bath so let me take this down by the way, I just did this one today, so these ones I have shrunken up, these ones have shrunken up, and so it is still stretched. I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to put it behind my ear like this, so that they are the same length, because it does look a bit crazy right now. Okay, so there they are, okay? This one is a bit annoying because it is longer than others. But yes, okay guys, so I decided to just repaint my hair. And this is it. I hate this. I hate this thing right here. I don't know how I lost hair there. These ones, they never got rebraided. Maybe this one, the one in the middle, maybe it did. It looks shorter than others. So another way that you can also refresh in your micro your braids is by twisting. I didn't want to share this one because... Like, people are different. Other people might want to keep this overnight. But don't keep this overnight. Because it will lock your hair up. Yeah. 
But so it looks repeated now. Yeah. And this is only this is only durable for when you are going to tie your hair. If you are not going to tie your hair, then this is not going to stick. This is better than this, okay? But that last method that I just showed you, it might look easy, but it's not. And don't make the mistake of staying over eight hours with it because it is going to lock up your hair, okay? So, yes, guys, that is it, okay? I don't know because I am trying to have a Kelly look and it is just straight and long. It's ruining my look. But yes, that is it, okay? I rebraided the whole front of my hair. And next month I am taking down. I cannot believe that four months is over. So that is what you can do get to refresh the roots of your mini braids. That last method, the one that I just showed you right now of twisting, I think it's better if you have bigger, if you have bigger braids than mine. By the way, if you have my size, it's too much work. It is too much work, but you can choose whatever you choose. Now what I do is I take down a braid and braid it back up. That is the method that I use. Thanks for spending your time with me. I am going to see you very soon with another video. Bye.